Launchpad Records is a UK independent record label releasing good music physically and digitally. For Launchpad Records, my partner was a motion graphics designer for SBTV and I was studying at sixth form for my A levels. The idea of Launchpad Records came about personally from a young age. I always wanted to make an impact on the music industry. So when myself and Lewis met, we felt it was the right thing to do by setting up a record label. In school, I'd always studied business from like year 10 onwards. So I always thought once I graduated, maybe I might have an opportunity to go into business. My partner, Lewis, wants to set up his own media company after leaving college and make a success of it from there after the motion graphics that he was doing. Although we're an independent record label, we're able to treat our releases like a major would. In this way, we can get all of our releases and songs onto mainstream radio as well as smaller pirate stations. We're also able to film our own videos with our in-house camera. We also have a good relationship with online bloggers and websites that feature media such as The Sun and Rewind magazine. In this way, we're able to effectively promote all our releases and give them the best exposure that they can get. Launchpad make money from sales on iTunes, Amazon and all other good music retailers. We also make money from royalties when our songs are played on radio. When our song gets paid on TV or elsewhere then we receive publishing money as well. We are due to expand and start selling merchandise to the fans of the Launchpad brand and as well as the fans of the artists that we represent. Even though we rely on the internet for our business, as it's very much internet orientated, we have to compete against illegal file sharers and our online piracy. Launchpad has been self-funded by me and my partner Lewis so far. All the money that we've made from sales has been reinvested into the business to carry on. Launchpad Records are jealous of business partners that don't live near each other. As myself and Lewis live quite far apart, it's not easy to see each other as often as it is for people who live near each other in business. However, me and Lewis make sure that we speak every day via the phone or Twitter, email, BBM, whichever means necessary. The best piece of advice we received so far is from Mr. Jam at Radio 1 and 1 Extra. He told us to remain professional at all times with people you know in a professional capacity. In three years time, we'd like to venture into new territories and maybe into new genres. We'd like to release a few albums by then, hopefully with some of the artists that we are working with closely at the moment and a few more that we are set to work with in the near future. If we weren't operating as Launchpad Records, my partner would have set up his own digital media company. I'd be pursuing my university degree as I am now, doing international business management. When we set a goal to achieve and we end up either achieving the goal that we'd set or exceeding. For example, we aim for the Radio Kid, our first release, to be played on one extra by Mr. Jam and then by the end of the week it was played on Radio 1. So we were really happy about that and we didn't expect it to happen so that was what made it even better. Don't forget you can check us out on launchpadrecords.co.uk where you can get in contact with us to submit an email or you can submit music through there as well. You can also check us out on facebook.com forward slash launchpadrecords and twitter.com forward slash launchpadr. These websites are constantly being updated so you can keep up to date with what's happening in Launchpad. Our latest release, manga featuring J2K and Scratchy, No MC, is out now on iTunes and Amazon. You can also see that on sbtv.co.uk. Also, Blizzard, an artist that we're working with closely, has a lot to come in the future. It's got albums, freestyle videos, performances, you name it, it's coming from Blizzard. So watch out for him, definitely.